U.S. President Donald Trump attacked former FBI Director Andrew McCabe on Twitter Sunday. Trump apparently responding to reports McCabe kept notes of their interactions, notes which could become evidence in a case that Trump may have tried to obstruct a federal investigation. Trump tweeted, quote, spent very little time with Andrew McCabe, but he never took notes when he was with me. I don't believe he made memos, except to help his own agenda, probably at a later date. McCabe was fired on Friday, two days before he was set to retire from the Bureau with full benefits. An internal report accused McCabe of leaking information to reporters and misleading investigators. McCabe denies those reports and put out a statement that he'd been fired as part of Trump's, quote, ongoing war on the FBI. This could position McCabe to be a key witness into whether Trump tried to obstruct what began as an FBI investigation into whether members of Trump's campaign worked with Russian agents to win the 2016 election. That investigation began under FBI Director James Comey, whom Trump fired last year. The inquiry continued under McCabe, who assumed the role of acting director. Sir, we consider it to be a highly significant investigation. The probe was then handed over to special counsel Robert Mueller, who was looking into whether Trump may have fired Comey in an effort to end the investigation. Notes written by Comey and now McCabe could be used to corroborate their accounts in an obstruction case. Trump has increasingly attacked the special counsel's investigation. On Saturday, Trump's personal lawyer put out a statement calling on the Department of Justice to end the special counsel's investigation. The lawyer later said he made that statement on his own without consulting Trump. On Sunday, Trump tweeted, Why does the Mueller team have 13 hardened Democrats, some big, crooked Hillary supporters, and zero Republicans? Robert Mueller is a longtime registered Republican. So the Department of Justice's rules prohibit the hiring of anyone based on their political affiliation, and Mueller dismissed members of his team in the past for sending private messages that could suggest anti-Trump bias. But the president's Twitter attacks on Mueller, now naming him personally, raising fears Trump may be getting ready to fire the special prosecutor.